Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day. So am I. Um, welcome to another episode on A to Z Home and Garden with your Kalyan. And uh, if you're liking my videos, do subscribe, like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notifications. Um, so in this video, uh, what I'm going to show you is that if you see, I mean, in my background, I have a, a pear tree. Uh, and uh, for, for, for uh, I mean, if you look at it, I mean, it looks beautiful. It's just uh, uh, budding and it has all these uh, tender leaves coming out. So, but if you take a closer look, so I was passing by this tree this morning. And uh, if you take a closer look, I saw all these leaves wilting to the other side. I mean, just uh, curling to the other side. And to my surprise, I mean, I, I straight away knew what the problem is. And once I went in there, I mean, look at it. There are tons and tons of aphids and white flies. If you see, they're white in color, green in color, and look at look at the um, look at them. Uh, all the tender leaves. I mean, this. If you look at this tender leaf here, I mean, it's all curled up. And if I there is, I, I you bet them I in there. Tons and tons of them. See, that is what I'm talking about. And look at how the ants. These are the little ants they are they take care of them so what they do is uh, the ants carry the aphids to the shoots i mean to the tender uh, new uh, buds and put them on there and uh, they mm, milk them for their honeydew there is a sweet uh, nectar that uh, the uh, aphids give out and that's what the ants want so technically um, the ants are breeding <laughs> the efforts so let's see how to take care of this this is a pretty small tree i mean i i planted this only uh, last year so it, it's a it's it's a very small tree so i'm going to tell you how to uh, take care of this so uh, organically so let's uh, go ahead and uh, mix some uh, um, uh, soap insecticidal soap or or uh, castile soap and i'll show you how to do that let's go just remember, I mean, this is not part of any uh, promotion. Uh, this is what I use all the time, and it that's what works for me. So uh, th that's what I'm sharing. This is uh, Dr. Bronner's uh, um, uh, Castile Soap. Uh, it has mint in it, which uh, uh, which uh, aphids absolutely hate. And uh, the way I the, the mixing ratio I use is uh, one. Uh, sorry one tablespoon to one gallon of water in my sprayer um, and uh, this is a this is mixed a little differently because i i i mix in the water first and then add in the uh, soap because uh, if you add in the soap and then mix the water there's so much sud and it's 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 very hard for you to gauge the um, gallon uh, i mean gauge your water level so first let's let's go ahead and uh, fill up our uh, if you see i mean it's it says here it's uh, you have your markers here this is uh, i think a two gallon like, like it says one and a half gallon gallon so i'm going to mix uh, i mean uh, fill up my water to this mark here and then add the one tablespoon uh, i mean you can you could add one one and a half tablespoon uh, but i go uh, easy uh, because that the, the leaves are so tender right now uh, i don't want uh, i don't want this uh, soap to affect uh, those leaves uh, in any way so let's go ahead and do it uh, Okay, so once you've got the, you once you've got your water to the one gallon mark, so all you do is uh, take a. I mean, oh, this is a brand new bottle that I just got. So take your uh, soap, okay, and pour it in there, okay, and now you give it a good mix. Now you you you're pretty sure. I mean that that is not going to uh, uh, throw in so, mu so much sud, sud in there and you, you're going to uh, uh, easily see your watermark so but if you if you do, did it the other way like i said i mean if you put the um, soap in there and then the water then uh, I, i'm telling you that again and again because uh, it's going to hard to gauge your uh, watermark but for me now it's very easy so i'm just going to give it a good swirl and Voila, my, my water is all uh, set to spray. You have to do is, uh, I mean, tighten your sprayer uh, with the best. And now give it a couple of 
pumps and test your uh, sprayer. I mean, this sprayer, I've, I've had it for a good uh, seven, eight years. I mean, this this is my only garden spray. And for the pest, I mean, for, for weed control, I use another spray. So do not do not mix both. And now you just test out your sprayer here. I give it a couple more because this is a two, two gallon one. It, it needs a couple of pumps. And let's see. Yeah, that's a good. And now we are going to go and treat our um, pear tree. So once you have your sprayer ready, so now start from the um, uh, top. Okay. So what you do is you first you get the top and make sure the most most of the aphids they like they are sneaky guys. I mean they like to be deep in there. So get the bottom as well. And this what 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 this soap is going to do is it's going to uh, not only wash the aphids off the uh, tree but also um, it is going to uh, wash off the waxy layer on top of it and uh, that is, and once the sun hits it, they are going to die um, because uh, they don't have their coating anymore and they're going to dry in the sun so that's what we're doing now so but make sure you get every bit of it every bit of it under the leaves over the leaves everywhere that's the only way i mean you might want to check check back every day and but don't do it every day uh, uh, but if, if these are and i mean you might uh, want to consider doing it uh, the next week but uh, not the next very next day after you do your treatment if you find some i mean it's easy to miss them because they are in this nooks and corners i mean where i cannot get my sprayer uh, so i mean even the best sprayers you cannot i mean it's, it's very hard to get those so what I'm doing here is, uh, I mean, I'm just getting the underside in there everywhere. So okay. make sure you get uh, you get uh, this uh, uh, liquid on all and on every uh, branch. Soak it. I mean, let's uh, um, let's go very gen uh, generous on this. I mean, so yeah. You want a good amount i mean you want to see dripping off the leaves so that is how you treat uh, the early uh, spring aphid uh, um, population uh, it's always uh, better to watch it every week or every 10 days you walk around the garden and if you have any uh, leaves curled up uh, and you there's a good chance i mean if you lift it you will find aphids in there that's that's the indication that there are aphids so if you like this video please uh, uh, subscribe like and share it with your friends and uh, thank you again for all your support and i'll see you in another episode